Hello, hello, hello. This is a weekly reading for you guys. This reading is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. What's going on? All right, for you guys. And we have the King of Swords. Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here at the center of your reading. This could definitely be a person that um, is significant for you this week. Somebody that truly affected you, that you almost felt um, subservient to. But uh, this is somebody that's very knowledgeable. I feel like you respected this person. Um, and you may even like sought um, advice from this person. Something like that. Very smart individual that we're talking about here. Let's <clears throat> crossing Aries. We have the moon. Hmm. I feel like this is more about somebody else than you. At the center of your reading, I feel like you guys are on someone's mind um, here. And I feel like this person has probably been getting advice um, as far as what to do about you. Uh, there's some deep feelings that this person has for you. I don't know why my TV all of a sudden got so loud. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. I feel like this person was too busy being like your um, mentor or being cerebral to really let you know how they felt about you. I feel as though this person really wants to express to you how they feel but I don't think there's a clear path or there's a way for them to see to be able to do that and so I'm definitely getting they they want to tell you how they feel because I'm getting that they didn't share that with you because I can see you questioning sometimes how this person felt about you. Cancer energy there. Hmm. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Underlying issue here. They were too busy working. Too busy concentrating on things that weren't related to feelings. I feel that this person hmm, they weren't they weren't all into this relationship not like they were into anyone else um, they could have been but I see more so they were distracted by other things was the underlying issue here is the underlying issue here for them um, they were way too busy distracted by money, um, outside interferences. It could definitely have been a father figure uh, that they were concentrating on. Maybe that father figure, you know, kind of dissuaded them to pursue a path that was long term with you. Um, something of that nature. Let's see what was going on in the recent past for Aries. What's going on in the recent past for Aries? Three of Cups. I feel like it was happy times with this person. You guys spent a lot of time together. You went out together. You conversed together. You spent money together. You guys traveled together. You spent a lot of time with this person. And I see you um, really drinking from your own cup. But there was love was there but it wasn't to the extent that you would have liked to have seen it because i think you felt that this person was not all in you felt that they were distracted you felt like something was not allowing them to fully be involved in the relationship with you again cancer energy there crowning thoughts for my aries And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, taking things very slowly, very slowly. And I think that you guys are not just jumping into things. 
you're feeding things so they can grow slowly you're not um, you're managing your expectations is what I'm getting here this is Taurus energy I also get from some of you that you felt like this person um, gave you breadcrumbs they gave you a bone because I think that you know as far as this relationship is concerned with this person you were all in and you wanted them to be all in there was something inside you that made you feel like they were not all in they were present with you physically but their heart was not fully with you and I think you guys felt that <clears throat> coming in for Aries. Page of Swords. Somebody's really observing you, trying to figure out um, what is the best way for them to approach you, if they can approach you, if it's, if it's okay. You know, somebody's spying on you essentially, watching your moves. For some of you, I feel like this person has has shown up at your house, but they've chickened out before they actually come and knock on your door. Or they've chickened out before they actually call you, something like that. Um, I feel like this is definitely an air energy. This person is, is very smart, but they know that they are no longer in control at this point. They were in control before in the relationship with you. And I kind of feel like some of you guys you know, hung on their word because you respected them, you cared for them, but they never really showed you that emotional side of them that you needed. <clears throat> How's Aries viewing this situation? Six of Cups. You still think about them. You still think about the good times that you guys had. You think about the gatherings that you had, just the togetherness, the family dynamic. I feel that you guys spent a lot of quality time together. This, you feel like, is your soulmate. And I think some of you still feel like that. You still feel like that. Even though, you know, if you guys are not together, you still feel like this person, you belong together. Just because you belong together does not mean that you end up together. And I think that's the point where you guys are is that even though you feel like this person is your soulmate and you were probably meant to spend your life together, you have come to the conclusion that that's probably not going to happen. So it's like you're reminiscing. Uh, I think you think about the good times a lot. You also think about the bad times too because... Um, there were bad times for sure because you did not feel comfortable or um, secure in how they felt for you for real Scorpio energy there <clears throat> what is the influence here for Aries what is the influence for Aries five of swords there were definitely arguments conflict um, feeling imprisoned feeling hurt a lot of the times, feeling like this person didn't care if they hurt you, uh, you reflect on those situations, those times when this person just acted a donkey ass with you and then just kind of sat back and watched you hurt, grieve, what have you. I think there's something in you that still is holding on to the hurt and the pain. Even though you feel like this person is your soulmate, you can't forget what would happen between the two of you. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be with them. It just is what it is, is what I'm hearing here. Aquarius energy there. Hopes or fears for Aries. Page of Cups. I think right now a lot of you guys are looking for um, new love, new opportunities that you feel passionate about. Um, you want to explore different things. You want to have that giddy feeling again. You're hoping that that can happen because I think you were giddy with this person. You put your cards on the table for this person. They failed to put theirs on the table. And that's where the issue came in at. Other things were like distracting them. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy there. 
overall outcome for Aries. That's my ring, guys. Overall outcome for Aries. And then we have the Page of Wands. This is something that excites you. A new beginning, a new start. Something that you're um, interested in doing. I think the flame is, is sparking in you again. I think it kind of died out with this person. There's something that's coming in that's going to um, light a fire under you. I think, too, that for some of you, this person is actually going to show some interest, uh, is going to spark something new in you, in them as well. There's already something stirring in this person this week. Okay, so there is a good chance that this person may reach out. We have three pages here. Okay, there's a very good chance, chance that this person is going to reach out, but I feel like it's going to be an olive branch more than anything else. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.